In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the adjusted standard deviation for a one-way within subjects ANOVA that will then allow you to calculate the adjusted confidence intervals. So the example is the Weatherell uh, et al. study, which is related to anxiety levels across pre-treatment, post-treatment, and follow-up. So the first thing you need to do is you actually need to calculate the one-way within subjects ANOVA, which you've probably done already, but I'll just show you how I did that again. So define three levels, time, put that in there, and then click OK. And it's automatically, you don't have to click any other extra buttons, you're automatically going to get the within subjects ANOVA mean square. And because we can assume sphericity in this case, because the sphericity is not less than 0 0.005, the p-value that is, we can use this mean square error here, 162.260, and we just need to square root that value. So 162.26 square root, and that gives us the standard deviation of 12.38. Now, if you violated the sphericity assumption, say this was less than 0.05, I recommend that you use Hünfeldt as a general rule. You would then square root this mean square error to get the adjusted standard deviation for that case. But in this case, we can assume sphericity so we use this one and square root that mean square error. 